Yes, it is Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. And Donnell Rawlings is here wide awake. Fully uh, moisturized. Fully moisturized, wide awoke. All yep. right, let's get into some Yeet Tea. Um, Fire Festival. Remember that festival? That's that the one that went happened? really, really bad, right? Yes. Ja Rule was a part of that, right? Yeah, it was Billy McFarlane, and Ja Rule was his partner. Did somebody go to jail? Billy McFarlane. He's out now, and he actually is relaunching the Fire Festival, and it's already sold out. Wow. What's the lure, the lure of this festival? Let me tell you something. Some of the tickets were $7,999 a piece. And Taylor Swift is not going to be there in that ticket. We don't even know who's going to be there. They haven't even announced who's going to be there. But here's Billy McFarlane when he was talking about the Fire Festival. We spoke to people as far away as the Middle East and South America. And ultimately, we decided that Fire Festival 2 is coming back to the Caribbean. We are targeting Fire Festival 2 for the end of next year. And in the meantime, we'll be doing pop-ups and events across the world. He is not playing. That's a <laughs> he comeback. He came back doing the same thing. Yeah, the same thing. And the fact that no one knows who's on the bill, and they don't even know an exact date, but it's sold out already, I kind of don't believe that. What is this guy's backstory? I mean, he started as like a club promoter or something, or what is he? I remember he had this like black card first that was like some exclusive black card, and then he started this whole fire thing, and he's able to raise money. And so he got a whole lot of investors and then ended up going to jail for, um, <laughs> yeah, for that. All right, Reggie Bush, he wants to get his Heisman Trophy back. And so now he has filed a defamation suit, uh, and he's trying to make sure that that can happen. That's all because of the, quote, pay-for-play type of arrangements. And he won the Heisman Trophy, but unfortunately they uh, he gave up the award because they found he received benefits of several thousand dollars in a vehicle that was not allowed at the time, and he was ruled ineligible as of 2004. And so... Now he's saying the rules have changed. I should be able to get my Heisman back. And I saw uh, attorney Ben Crump was posting about that. Yeah, I'm glad that they got to the point now where they let these athletes make money. Because mm-hmm. all the they money they so bring, they make so much money. It had to come to that. So, so shout out to Reggie Bush for trying to go back in time to, to be ahead. I appreciate that. Yeah, he said he was never paid to play football while at the University of Southern California. And it was defamation. And, you know, like y'all were saying behind the scenes, they all do that. They all do it, but he just (laughs) got got busted. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Skip Bayless has unveiled Undisputed's new team, and it's going to be returning onto the air August 28th after a two-month hiatus after Shannon Sharp left. And so now it's going to be Richard Sherman, Keyshawn Johnson, and Michael Irving. That's the new dream team. Michael Irving back in the game. I'm so happy that those allegations were false about him um, doing that Super Bowl. Yes. But I don't know if anybody – people really like that dynamic with uh, Shannon Sharp, so I don't know. How it's going to work out. But those are two good choices to come behind Shannon and and probably keep that brand to go. You'll be watching, right? Nah, not really. (laughs) Well, Shannon Sharp is bringing his podcast, Club Shay Shay, and he's bringing that to the volume. So the digital network and podcasting hub that was founded by Colin Cowherd's uh, will also jointly produce new programming with the network. And that's all after he left Undisputed. So everybody's doing their thing. Unk is going to do it. He's popular. Everybody's doing it. Mm-hmm. He's popping too. Yeah, and you got your podcast coming back. The Donnell Rollins Show. Make sure you subscribe. I feel like a commercial. Make sure you subscribe and like. Go to the Donnell Rollins <laughs> Show on YouTube. I got new episodes I'm about to drop next week. I think I got to like episode 99. I lost the interest in it, but everywhere I go now, <laughs> people are starting to say you need it. You need to bring it back. You got to so be consistent. I'm, you got to be consistent. And that's the only way you're going to get the money. So I'm going back. And Diddy has announced his first solo album in 17 years. He put out a trailer for it. Why am I doing this? You know what I'm saying? Especially with the success that I've had, especially where my life is, how stressful and treacherous this music industry is. Why would I just come back in here and have to do something that I don't have to do? My heart has been broken. I still got that question of like, am I gonna love again? Yo, sometimes you gotta go through the dark to manifest. Sometimes you gotta smile through the agony and the stress. My feet ain't been on the ground. I'm flying and landing jets. All right, so new Diddy. Wait, well, you passionate Love. about something? You passionate about something? And it says Justin Bieber, The Weeknd, Mary J. Blige, DJ Khaled, Tiana Taylor, French Montana, Twenty One Savage, Young Miami, Sway Lee, Jazzy, Babyface. They're all in this video. So he got a DJ Khaled album. Basically. All <laughs> right. Well, that is your Yeetie. And when we come back, let's talk to my guy, Donnell Rawlings. We're going to find out more about what he has going on. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. Way Up.